It's happening in every neighborhood. Down every street. Sickness. Addiction. And violence has been turning countless homes into crime scenes. Suffering. Depressed. Alone. Suicidal. Hello to all, a very good evening. This is your program, Problems and Solutions. I'd like to invite you to stay with us these few minutes to watch these wonderful testimonies we have in our program and to open your vision for a way out for your life. It doesn't matter how long you are suffering, what the problem you have in your life. You may think that there is no way out of this situation. You may think that to change your life, it's an impossible case. Well, I will have here the story of Oswald today. You're going to see in his testimony a huge problem. From inside out, all his life was a misery. And maybe you're going through the same misery. Maybe your misery is not just financial, but you have a misery inside of you. You get to the point that you confess, I have a curse in my life. I don't know what to do. I feel this negative energy. Everything I put my hand go wrong. It seems like the world is against me. It seems like there is no luck for me at all in life. I am a person uh, full of negative energy. Well, Every Friday here at the Universal Church, we are ready to help you, as we helped Oswald in the testimony we're going to watch. He participated in the service of deliverance every Friday, and he was delivered. I'd like to invite you, while we're going to watch this testimony, to call us, text us, message us. Tell us about your situation. Here is our number. You can WhatsApp us. You can send us a message also on Facebook and let us know what you are facing. We are here ready to listen to you, to guide you, to help you to transform your life as Oswald got his life transformed. Every Friday is a day of fight. Every Friday is a day to fight this negative energy. There is a way for you to be free of this curse. There is a way for your life to be freed of this negative energy. Maybe what you have is a voice in your mind constantly telling you, give up. There is no way maybe this voice is trying to convince you even to commit suicide. Such a depression and anxiety you're going through. I tell you, don't give up. Give us a call. Talk to us. We are here to listen. Make an appointment. Reserve a day, a time to be with us. Can be tomorrow. Can be any day. The Universal Church has its door open. Watch the story of Oswald and be inspired by his wonderful testimony of a new life that he received. I grew up uh, in a dysfunctional home. Um, fortunately, due to the alcoholism that my father had, uh, there was no happiness, there was no peace, there was nothing. There was a lot of arguments between my parents and due to that, I started growing a hatred towards him. I honestly thought that him being out of the equation, that we were gonna be happy, that he wasn't needed, that he actually was the cause of the problem. And I started growing that hatred towards him to the extent that I wanted to kill him. I will hear voices telling me of ways to be able to kill him, uh, telling me that it will be better even to run away from home because it was just so unbearable to be home, to be able to see the situation that we were in. And I grew up ostracized completely away from people. I didn't want to talk to anyone. It will get me angry to see other people smile, to see people happy because I didn't think it was fair for others to be happy and that I wasn't able to have happiness. I honestly thought that I was never going to be happy. And Frank, quite frankly, I didn't even see a future for myself and or any sort of, you know, change in my life. 
I was invited to the Universal Church uh, by my aunt. Uh, she invited me to start participating in other services. And the first day that I participated, I felt peace, something in which I hadn't felt for so long. Uh, that hope that things were gonna change, you know, started. And I started seeking for that God because I was in the bottom of the pit and I wanted help. I wanted to find that love that the pastors were preaching about. And I surrendered myself completely to Him. And I started participating in my change of prayer on Fridays for the deliverance on Sundays uh, to receive the presence of God, to be able to fill in that void that was inside of me. And that's how little by little I started changing. Uh, that hatred started fading away. I started becoming someone that was happy, optimistic, someone that believed that there was a better tomorrow. And then God also, God started working in my family. My mother stopped being depressed. Uh, she started participating in other services also. My father, although it took some time, but he also was able to be delivered from alcoholism. And he started participating in a So God made that transformation, something that seemed impossible turned possible. My family is blessed. Uh, thank God we're all in the faith. Uh, we, there's peace. The Holy Spirit is the one that guides our lives. I am completely transformed. I have love for others. My father is like a friend to me. That hatred fade away. I want to help other people. I have goals, plans, and I know that God is the one leading my, my life and that, you know, that tomorrow, whatever it may be, that God is always there to, you know, to bless me and to guide me. Without the Holy Spirit, I wouldn't be anything. And it wouldn't be possible for me to actually have that change in my life because the moment that I received the Holy Spirit it, everything turned got transformed my way of seeing things my way of thinking everything was transformed and that's what gave me the strength to be able to continue forward to maintain that clean heart and to not let anything you know nothing especially that hatred you know that was part of my past so you know to interfere with the happiness that I have today for you that are watching this testimony and you're going through family problems or difficulties there's a solution if there are thoughts in you thinking that there's no way of being able to fix those problems, God is the way. Just give him a chance. I gave God that opportunity to transform my life. And as he transformed mine, he could transform yours. Many have entered 2021 this way. Feeling overstressed. They have tried to get rid of the negative energy in many ways, but on the contrary, their lives have only attracted more pain and suffering. What they most want at this moment is a cleansing from inside out. For he is like a refiner's fire and like launderer's soap. It was a normal bar of soap like any other, but the faith applied to it would bring results. I went to the bathroom and showered myself. It was the first night in three long years that I was able to sleep soundly throughout the night. As an act of faith, bring a bar of soap with you this Friday to be consecrated at the spiritual cleansing session. We will determine a complete spiritual cleansing for those who use this. We are back with the program Problems and Solution after this wonderful testimony Oswald today is a new man, a transformed man. He even forgave his father. That desire, that evil desire left him. And so your life also can be transformed the way his life was. Just as you watch there, we this Friday will be blessing a bar of soap here in the Universal Church. And you can bring this bar of soap. What the difference this will make in my life? You're going to put your faith in action. It's not the actual bar of soap. It's not the element. It's not nothing like that. What's going to bring the answer for you is your faith, your obedience. As the word of God says that he's like the laundry's soap, that cleans, that wash. wash. So you're going to bless this bar of soap and you're going to be cleansed. Once you bath with that, once you use that with faith, this negative energy, this darkness will leave your life. For sure, your life will be transformed. This Friday, you can call us, make an appointment for you to come as we are under restrictions here in Sweden. 
but you can call us and make an appointment for you to attend one of our meetings every Friday here in Gothenburg, also in Sweden, and every universal church all over the world. We are here using our faith against darkness every single Friday. Before I end this program, I'll leave with you this wonderful testimony. The testimony of this lady who was addicted and she used the holy oil. We're going to have this wonderful event, this powerful event on the 31st, where all over the world we're going to be freely distributing the holy oil, the anointing oil for you to use your faith. And through this testimony of this lady who overcame addiction, learn how you can use the holy oil. And you can also reserve your bottle of the free holy oil for the 31st, where all over the world we will be giving it freely in every universal church. Here in Sweden, you call, you reserve a day, a time for you to be here the 31st, and you're going to receive your free bottle of the holy oil. May God bless all of you. Have a wonderful night and see you next time. So I attended the Help Center for a big event called the Anointing Oil event. And there I received an anointing oil. At the time, I was suffering with um, an addiction for smoking. And I would always make excuses about the fact of, you know, smoking is to relieve stress. But I realized that it's really not because after smoking, I will still be stressed out. I received the anointing oil. I thought, okay, let me use it and test God in this moment to see if I can really stop smoking. So what I used to do was I started to anoint my lips. I started to anoint my mind so that my mind wasn't distracted to continuously smoke. Or, and I would pray, I would ask God to help me to remove this urge to want to smoke. So I just stopped. I don't like the smell. The smell makes me to feel sick. Everything is possible. I definitely overcame smoking. The UCKG is aware of and will continue to follow up on the development of precautions that have been implemented in the prevention and fight against the COVID-19 virus. Following the restrictions given by the Swedish government, as of Tuesday, 24th of November, all meetings will be restricted up to a maximum of eight people. You will have to schedule a time to be able to attend the services, and by doing so, we will make sure we will all be protected. With the objective of attaining the same safety levels as the local premises and work sites, we have compiled a series of safety measures to be taken into effect. Displaying official notices provided by the Department of Health in Sweden, providing the means of practicing good personal hygiene, hand sanitizing and washing of hands with soap. Raising awareness. Action will be undertaken by the church ministers to avoid being in close physical contact or proximity with members and also minimizing physical contact amongst the members. Providing multiple services throughout the day will enable participation. However, this will be by appointment only in order to avoid more than eight people as per advice received from the health department in Sweden. Please schedule a time to attend the services on 072-061-4958. Should you have any flu symptoms or are from the group of risk, participate in our online services. UCKG Help Center. I'm not leaving this hospital until I know what's wrong with my daughter. If you want out, that's fine with me. 